it's Super Sing's Kazoom Power Battle. And I know I'm very, very late. This series came out in August time. It's now November time, which means we've got a mutant battle situation on our hands. Again, where I'm only given one month uh, wait until the next series comes out. Um, in this case, I'm going to have to wait only one month. That's December until Kazoom Power Mission comes out in January. So um, this series will only be on this. I'll only be able to do the... Um, you know the channel banner at the top of the channel page. That's only, that. Um, Kazoom Power Mission, Kazoom Power Battle is only, is only going to be present on there for the rest of this month and next month. So basically, it's just going to be on there for one month. Hopefully, the uh, Kazoom Power Mission one should be on there for the uh, so um, for, for the co correct amount of time. Anyway, um, before I get into this intro, before you get into this introductory video, I'm just going to say. That the rest that the TNS series has officially been completed. Just for now, all of the videos on the playlist, all the scheduled ones, that is the full series. Okay, so there's going to be no upcoming ones until I don't know, until next year at least, until like February, March next year of the uh, next Gozuja items. Um, really impressed me because I might be getting. The rumoured uh, sword changer if it meets certain conditions but we don't know about that yet but as for now right now that playlist has got every single TNS video coming up so there's gonna be no addition to start playlist I'm just gonna let you watch them wait for them watch them two, two every week you know how it goes um actually co coincidentally the uh, the last one the bum bum changer that comes out in February uh, the first week in February, I believe. Now, the craziest thing is, if we go off what's happened before we sent high, February should also be the same month when Gozuja starts airing, or is very close to airing, i.e. when the toys get announced, but not released yet. So we should be in Gozuja territory when that happens. And yeah, in case you don't know, the next uh, Sentai series will be uh, number one Sentai Gozuja, because it's everywhere. It's been um, the, on the uh, Twitter trademark bot, X trademark bot. You know, the automated uh, trademark approver, I think it is. Mm, I don't know about you, but I've got a really nose. Apologies. I think it's because it's got something to do with the fact, you know, it's um, it's not quite winter, but it's still quite cold outside. I think that's what causes this kind of thing to happen. Right, Um, we have got... This is going to be a bit of a weird... A bit of an introductory video, because if you go back onto the previous series, i.e. Evolution, Meet and Battle, Neon Power, you'll see that there's been some, you know, um, Super Saiyan Series X Begins videos. Except this is not quite going to be a Begins video. It's going to be... It's going to have the same name, obviously, but it's going to be a bit different, because in those videos I normally show off, like, checklists and stuff. But in this case, it's going to be... Showing off um, the Ultra Rare, because I've got it right here in this box where I keep the other Ultra Rares. Ah, as you can see, they're all in there. All of them, and, and I mean all of them, look. All of them. No repost versions. These are all the OG versions, by the way. These these are your uh, legit hard ones to find, including a Galactical and a, a new Enigma. Right, we're going to have a look at him first, obviously. Now I've got a bit of a story to tell about this enigma. If you go on to... Also, he, he doesn't want to stand, which is a bit awkward. First Ultra Air, that doesn't want to stand. A bit awkward. Is it because of the way the base... No, the, the base appears to be flat. I think it's because there's not enough uh, rubber on the uh, back side to uh, distribute weight. Funny story about this enigma. Um, normal Ultra Airs are really hard to find, uh, which is obviously it's a given. Um, but, if you go on, if you buy, if you look at these packs here, the, which are the blister packs, um, you'll see here that it says, will you find the Ultra Enigma? Now, I saw, because there's eight variations of blister pack in total, so the blister fours and the blister tens, and no, the blister fives, blister fives, blister tens, I figured that in one of those configurations, Enigma would be hiding in there, in one of them, and he wasn't, so, but, but I didn't realise that. When we bought a load of blister packs, all right, so I have a bunch of super things I'm going to show you from this series. I'll be lining them up here. No, I won't. Um, I'll be keeping them. I'll be doing the lining up when we do the um, 
Actually, no, I won't, because I think, if I remember that, because a lot of them, um, I'll keep them in some kind of newer storage unit. I'll, think, I'll have to think of, like, a new name for it, because I think Coin of Doom, uh, the Box of Brilliance, I think it was. No, it's something else. Um, Box of Doom, you know, those kinds of names, you know, so I've got to think of those. I've got to think of another one. I've got to improvise. Uh, I didn't realise at the time when I bought these, I thought the only way they could package them up, because you, you obviously had, like, the, the ones on plastic on the front, hence why all this is ripped. I figured that the only way to put the hidden one would be on the back. As you can see, it's all perforated. So, oh no, there's no way they can just drop Enigma in, like, randomly. Until these arrived, and I realised that, oh no, look, there's some tape, this top part. Because I thought this top part was, like, completely... I, I thought this top part was nus. I thought this meant nothing, but... And I took a closer look, here's the uh, 10 pack. I realised, only after taking a closer look, that this is how... It opened, so they could insert Enigma. Had I realised that, I probably wouldn't have bought these. So, um, yeah. Ploop! So, um, that means I inadvertently have a bunch of regular characters that I've got to show you now. But that shouldn't really be, be an issue, because it gives this a begins video more depth. Anyway, before that, we're going to have a look at the Ultra Rare Enigma. As you can see, here he is. He is, well, it... It's the same bloke as the first Ultra Rare, regular Enigma. I'm, I'm going to do a cross uh, comparison in a minute. Um, this guy looks a bit different, though, from the regular Enigma because he's got metallic... I so say that's metallic black, metallic navy, which is a, a nice touch, I must say. It's nice metallic. He's got the um, translucent glitter green on his mask, on the little... on his, like... this sort of green part base. His uh, boots are just translucent, there's no glitter in them. And his cape's got the glitter and translucency too on the on the uh, bottom part, but yeah. Would you call this an upgraded version of an existing Ultra Rare? I don't know. It feels like they're just trying to manufacture a new series by reusing Ultra Rares, that's probably how it is. Oh, he's also got a term metallic purple on his gloves. Hmm, nice. They're trying to uh, re-engineer Super Zings by reusing Ultra Rares, which I'm not too... Which I'm not much of a fan of. I don't know how long they'll be able to make that last. But anyway, we have a comparison between the original Enigma, what I got back in 2018. I didn't get this from the Super Special Stins. I got none of the Ultra Rares from the Super Special Stins. Um, in fact, if I had the Super Special Stins, I would have shown them off by now. I probably would have done boxings on them. But no, I got these way before the Super Special Stins were even hinted to be existing. Anyway, here is the regular Enigma versus the new Enigma. The new Enigma, by the way. You look... This guy is completely navy, he's not kind of black and metallic like this guy. He's obviously, he obviously looks different, um, colouring wise, and the fact that this guy's got more green and metallic purple on him. Um, this guy's just base colouring, purple, green, as you can see. Um, the, the question marks at the top is a lot different, probably to give him more of a better logo. He's obviously in a different pose, you can see here that, again, the, the thing the green looks a bit more um like a lighter green here and also enigma are interestingly enough enigma the original one doesn't have a cape and the the new enigma is missing that uh, question mark logo on his back that's just about as much of that i can do also um the new one's hat seems to be a bit more flat shorter at the top um I don't know about you. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if this is nostalgia speaking to me because this did come out in in 2018, by the way. But I think this guy has got more of an eerie presence about him. Not so much for the new one, but I think this guy's got more of like a ooh, is he hero or villain? I like kind of presence because if he's facing this way, you can't really tell. This this is more of him like a mysterious character to me in this particular way. Not so much when he's facing the other way though. So. Right, so let's get the Ultra Rare done. And now, we're going to have a look at the guys I got in the blister packs. Now, I'm not going to remember which um, packs these characters came from. You can cross-reference if you look up certain photos on Google, because it should be quite easy. But um, the first character I got was... This is... Also, I don't, I don't have any checklists. Which is a pain, because I might not re re remember these guys' names. But anyway, first up is Quack Attack. It's like a rubber duck. That's like a float. 
a floaty. He's in green here. Um, he's got a really thin cape. Uh, the the paint's okay, I I, I guess. Um, right, and the next guy I got was this. Um, bad tackle. I can't remember what his name was, but he's a deflated balloon. Balloon. He's got a he's got like a deflated thing here, but it doesn't. He looks like he's just a rock because he's not deflating at all. Yeah. Hard lad. Um, I mean, sorry. In the UK, if you if you're not familiar with a uh, British slang, in the UK we say hard lad when we mean a tough guy or something. So that's what that is. Um, you can see here that the cape's got some texturing on it. Yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it is there. So that's a villain. Um, then we have this guy is bad bull. I think he looks a bit crazy actually. A mask looks like lightning. He's been cracked a bit at the top, which is a nice detail. Um, again, I the cape's got looks like lightning bolts, which I, I do like that little detail though. Interesting. Again, there's some nice texturing on the uh, back. There you can see uh, like light, light, lightning inside the actual light bulb there. And then move on, we have yeah the skateboard guy. I can't re remember this guy's name either. This guy um, is. Also, before I count, I'm just going to point out. It's very annoying how they make you go online for checklists and have a look. Um, they don't include regular checklists in, like, packs these days. Skateboard guy. Anyway, this guy. Nice mouth. He's got wings. Actually, actually, um, after I've done reviewing this character, I think I will get a checklist. I will get my tablet and pull up the checklist. It's annoying me how I don't know these guys' names. I was on the cape. There we go. Metallic silver on the bottom. Okay, now I'm just going to be a jump cut while I get my tablet so I can look at these guys' names properly. So anyway, I have a checklist here. I'm able to check the names of the characters. From what I'm seeing... um, Right, so... From what I'm seeing, this guy is definitely named Quack Attack. Um, this guy is called Fast Kick. Uh, this guy is called Skate Star. Uh, this guy is called Bad Ball, but definitely because I remember there. And the next character we're going to show is Electric Cool like a little plug interestingly that this is not a uk plug this is um like a U european one hmm, interesting uh, metallic silver metallic silver again and this guy actually has the because normally these guys have got like col or, or colors of their alternative um they've normally got their alternative color like this guy also comes in red so he's got a red cape um this guy comes in turquoise but he's only got these little turquoise horns to show that. So that's the single character with the least um, of that. So I like a little nice lightning bolt symbol on his forehead though. This guy, what's this guy's name? This guy's name is Mega Stopper. He's like a little goal. He looks more like a Smashers character from a Series 1 sport, if I'm honest. I don't know, offensive but for Super Things, but... Uh, he does, he... I, I um, remember there being like a little goal character that came out in a series one sport. I think his name was Goalie. This he was white. This guy's orange, but goals aren't normally orange. No, um, he's got little, little stars in his mask. He's got the word goal superimposed on his cape. Stars again. Um, yeah. And the next guy is the school lustic. I isn't like Scholastic the name of a, like a book company. I don't know how they've been able to use that without going under the, without being picked up. Anyway, this guy, strict teacher. He I don't know if it's like meant to be like a primary school teacher or like you know like an ele elementary school teacher or like a high school teacher. But I don't know based on how he's got like a little scholars. I assume this guy's meant to be high school. I I don't know. He's got like a little. Um, half like glasses thing going on there. He's got like one like glass and eye. This 
And then on the back, I think it looks quite formal for a Super Zing, I must say. Formal. And then moving along, we have, oh, this line's got a bit wonky, I just noticed. Um, and then we have, this is Bubbles, which they've nicked this name from the a Series 8 character, who was also a drink club, so they're nicking names and they're nicking designs. In fact, I think out of all of these, um, the only ones that have got unique designs in this series are Mega Stopper and Electric Cool, the ones that I've shown off so far. Um, in fact, I'm looking at the ones I haven't shown off, and I think these are the ideas for characters have or have already been used. Oops. So, uh, mm. anyway, bubbles. Um, yeah, because these two are unique character. Char these two characters are unique because they're based on objects that have not seen any Super Zings characters, uh, you know, made of them before. Like we've seen a book Super Zing before. We've seen a like um, skateboard before. We've seen a football. We've seen a light bulb before. We've Definitely seen a drink cup before. Um, so again, these two are the only ones which are the first like objects like Super Zings of its kind because we, have, we haven't seen a plug Super Zing before. Anyway, bubbles. Um, yeah, this drink cup idea has been used a hell of a lot of times, probably because they don't have any more ideas for characters. Let's be honest, they're probably spent. Um, a spent creative creative team. Um, I don't know what I could say about this. It's a drink cup. Is, is this meant to be their hair? I don't know. Right, moving on, we have... This is... Who is this guy called? This guy's called... Super Wipe, there. Toilet Roll. Toilet Roll Holder as well. So technically it's a Toilet Roll and a Toilet Roll Holder. If this is, if this is a... A cape, I'll be very impressed with the uh, design team, but I don't think it is. I think it's just there just because they couldn't have it in the front. Because it would look like he had a beard otherwise, but... Um, this guy looks good in yellow, I think. Moving on, we have... This guy is called... What's this guy called? This guy's called... Pop Shock. He's got like a little popcorn launcher. Which I, I do like the idea of, but it feels like that was built in a bit too late. Cause if if they made this earlier, they might have been able to make like a role play weapon or something. Like compete with Nerf or something. But I really don't know. He's got the word pop several times on his cable. Now you can't really see it, but it's there. Lining to. Interesting. Then we have um, this guy is... Uh, Cactabula, I think that's what his name is. C no, Cactabula, I don't know where I've got Cactabula from. Um, this guy was the hidden Super Zing in the pack that came with a slip slide. So this guy was the hidden one in the slip slide pack. Um, the standard hidden one, not Enigma, by the way. Pink Cactus. Nice textured cape. Again, the cape is, the cape looks very detailed. Very interesting. Spiky. Um, yeah, I think he looks all right in pink. He doesn't need to necessarily be in green to count as a cactus. And then we have O'Clock, the hidden character that came in the pack with the gold character Master Dry. Uh, um, this guy could have been done with a lot with a bit more paint on his body. I think like they could have painted this additional clock hand here because there is one. I think that is. They didn't do that, which feels a bit missed. His um, there's some detailing on his back with some little controls for the time, I think. Arrows on his cape too, which I like. He's also wearing some little wristwatches on his arms, which I, I think that's a cool idea. Then we have the rare characters. We have the slip slide silver character. This is one of six silver characters. This guy. Mm, spiky side. I I I, just, I I like that idea. I do like side with spikes on. Cause it, it it's like he's wearing like shoulder pads or something. <laughs> he's got like really long shoulders. Except his shoulders, if that's the case, his shoulders go all the way down to his feet, which I don't really know. Do I like that idea? I, I don't know. Ladder, the back. 
And we have the gold character I got in the 10 pack. This is Master Dry. Master Dry. Interesting. I think that's silver. I don't know. I also, is this meant to be his mouth? I don't know. That's not really clear, is it? How does this speak? Green cape. Yeah, nicer. Nice metallic gold. And of course, I am obligated to mention that I did get a duplicate of... So that's first kick. So um, I couldn't really help that. So yeah, that's all the characters I got from the uh, blister packs, plus uh, Enigma. Now, I haven't got Enigma out because I'm going to keep him... Because for some reason, I'm so paranoid about losing the ultra rares, like, down the back of uh, this desk, for example. I don't want to think about that. That's why I've all put him in this lock and lock. Look. He is in there. I don't lie. I don't lie, Gov. Yeah, you can see that, that green there. He is in there, trust me. So yeah, that's all of them. Um, I think for the regular characters, I will be putting them off into like some kind of big group. Or I will be printing off a uh, checklist. Because I think you can do that. I think I'm on Magic Box's official website. I think you can print a checklist. Although I'm not entirely sure. I will have to check. Uh, but you, I think yes, I think you definitely can. Wait a minute. So I'll do that afterward, when this video is uploading. Um, yeah, that's the end. How many silver characters? I, I need one more gold, and I need five more silvers. But that's easily gonna that's easily gonna be doable. Okay, so we we can do this again. How many times have we done this kind of thing before? We've done rescue force, you know, power mutant battle evolution. So we've done this four times before. We can definitely do it again on this channel. Anyways, ooh, lo, lo, lo.